Ahoy, fellas, Pecky Day here. Okay, gentlemen, uh, for this cold, brisk, snowy, bright, sunny uh, Saturday afternoon, uh, this is video number one of build up eight of my Wilhelm Shaver 1250 scale USS San Francisco CA 38. Okay, guys, uh, uh, before we resume to the San Francisco, I'd like to make an apology to each one of you fellas about having this government golf park done. <laughs> she guys are have so much fun, you know. These car kids have been calling on me and trying to get everything uh, fixed up real good to get, get all my builds uh, caught up and stuff. You know, I got myself in a, a situation called Modeler Syndrome. I think we all got a touch of that. So these car kits have been calling me for a long time, so it's not going to take too long for me to finish up this USS San Francisco. I got pretty much of it basically almost finished, but but I got a few more, I got a lot more to go. So anyway, gentlemen, um, uh, the Gobble Gold Park, I got behind on that. I'm supposed to make a video of the, the final reveal of that. I won't be able to get nothing done on that until probably one day next week, because I... Like I said, I've been too darn busy getting behind. Uh, I, uh, I've been getting too busy working on my USS San Francisco, and I've got a very bad, uh, a, a very, a very bad de uh, deal of, uh, of putting the cart before the horse all the time. So, so like I say, all these things are talking to me all the time. How about me? How about me? You know. And so, like I said, I got myself a model syndrome, so I got to finish up what's on the plate. And uh, this USS San Francisco wasn't a fresh build. It was been sitting around for a while. And uh, so I just have a look at it. So I'm going to finish that up and get that out of the way. So anyway, fellas, as taken from the last video, I got the Battleship Roma I'll probably be starting next on that. And uh, at that, I'll get the late great Titanic going. So I'm going to be on card models for a while, fellas. I, I went ahead and uh, did some soul searching and did some thinking. I said, I want to do some card modeling for a while because I have done it for a long time, fellas. I miss it, you know. And, and uh, so, the, actually, the, the the principle's the same and the same difference. Uh, plastic, wood, or balsa, or paper. It's all the same. So, I got a lot of good uh, card builds coming your way. And this is one of them. And uh, so, anyway, I'll have that going. Go puck probably done one day next week. And when the weather breaks, when springtime gets in here, I'm going back and finish up the USS Drum and the CSS Alabama, get that done, and uh, go back on styrene for, for a while. But right now, guys, since it's cold outside and everything, and I keep my keep my old mind going and my hands are going, so I'm going. To, I'll stay on card for a little bit, and uh, that'll be that. And we're going to take a look at the USS San Francisco right behind me, and I'll discuss what has been done on it and what's got to be due to finish it. And uh, we'll swing the camera around to yours truly and uh, discuss uh, what the bill will be doing next and uh, what's on the what's on the on the bench. Okay, guys, uh, I know darn well this camera's always friendly, has never let me down. And um, we're going to take a look at the USS San Francisco. There you go, boys. As you can see in, in her entirety right there, you know, how much is, uh, how much I finished is taken from the first video. First video, there was nothing near or I think, a superstructure. That was it. You can see all the work that was done on the bridge. We'll zoom a little, a little more here, fellas. There we go. It will go up a little more. You can see all the bridge details all done. They got the uh, Ford Bridge, uh, the Ford Bridge, which is the CBO Announcers Lounge, which is inside the there. This is the bridge. You got the first platform. And this is the navigation bridge right here. Got all the splinter shields done. I got the Battle Station Bridge Mark IV platform done. The mast will come all the way up to here, like this. And I got that all that finished here, fellas. And we'll swing around a little bit and take a look at it. Yeah. 
You can see I got the flag bag done on there. Got all the incline ladders done on it. And I got the Ford stack all done. I got the ready boxes, which contains Carly uh, with life raft locker right here. It was next to the stack here. And I got a Carly foot, which is installed on here. And this one over here, I got a lid hits right here, fellas. See, the USS San Francisco went to, uh, at this stage, I believe this is the uh, the second refit, the first uh, the first refit it went through, because uh, this is actually right after uh, this is right after 19 this is 1943, at this paint schedule. It's actually it's called it's called uh, schedule paint schedule 33, which is the, which is the pattern that was used on it, and uh, schedule schedule 33. And um, so what it did on the, on the original design of, of the New Orleans class uh, cruiser sets in the San Francisco, there was a searchlight platform that came up. It was, a, it was, a, it was a, a corrugated structure using I beams back and forth, and a platform with a searchlight on there. I believe it was a 36, it was a 48 inch searchlight. And uh, so they got rid of that and put a platform on there and put uh, 20 millimeters on here. And. Uh, as I proceeded aft, as far as I got, before I speed of more, I could put ready boxes in there and life jacket lockers I gotta put in that stack and put inside that platform here. After deck houses beyond X, over here with the white outs over here in this area, this is your sponson, which is your sub base your catapults for your S two U float planes or your SOC uh, one Seahawks. I'm not Seahawks but your uh, I'm about to get with the yards. Uh, it's their their biplane, and uh, the upper deck house here. I gotta fill this in and build the deck and the details there. That'll be. I'll probably have that started maybe later on this evening. So my goal is to get all this finished in this area first here before I proceed. So anyway, fellas, what I'm trying to achieve right now on this assembly here is I'm trying to get all these, these called substructures, have all these substructures complete. When they're all complete, I can do the fitting out by adding bits, all the armament, the 8 inch guns, 40 millimeters, 20 millimeters, 50 uh, caliber single air aircraft guns. Uh, Carly floats, life jacket, uh, life jacket lockers, searchlights, Polaris, indoor telegraphs, boards, chain plates for the anchor, the blister for the hose pipe, and so forth and so forth. All these small fittings, all these parts, all these small parts got to be made. That's the last I'm going to do on it, starting from the bow and working aft. Then I'm going to go down to Home Depot day and get me a nice piece of wood here. And I'm going to add that, you remember that, uh, that glass cover, that, that light cover that fits on top of the ceiling, I was using simulated water for my USS California. Well, I got a four by eight foot section of that, so I want to cut a piece of that out, make a nice sea seascape like it's under with ship's colors, on a nice uh, stained uh, gl gloss uh, uh, spray, spray base. So anyway, fellas, I should have this thing pretty well done by next week. Uh, the more you stay on it, the faster it goes. So. The construction of this model right now, I'm more or less, guys, I'm more or less doing a, a, a sub assembly uh, procedure, then the fitting out stage will come last. And uh, you can see it's a, it comes out real nice. Paper has a very nice effect to it. And everybody likes, I love paper. And uh, it's just about as real as it gets, guys. I tell you, because a lot of these structures on here, they're more or less. Um, pieces. I got probably 2,000 pieces at least right now. From all the way to the last funnel, funnel number two, up to the Ford structure. On this bridge, there's a there's hundred pieces go to here. And it takes patience of a surgeon, guys, to, to fool around with these car kits like this. But they're addicting, so addicting, you know, you just can't take your hands off of them. And as you can see, they built in the good examples of the real thing. And much more like that of plastic of his cousins and the plastic variety, variety, and also the wooden variety. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pull away from the USS San Francisco. 
Pay the camera yours truly. Here I is again, fellas. Here I is. Okay, man. Well, I'm going to finish up in San Francisco. I think the uh, next video of this, I'll have, uh, I'll have money. You'll see a lot of it done by then. And so that'll, that's one thing I can count on. But this Monday, I'll have a, a nice good video of this. And hopefully, I should have this thing done by Wednesday of next week. Then, I go ahead and jump on the battleship Roma. And, uh, might even be the great, great late Titanic. So anyway, I got all those uh, builds coming up. So like I said earlier in the video, fellas, like my, my hummus and post uh, utmost apologies not having the golf lock done in time. I'm going to go ahead and do that probably one day next week in, in breaks of the ability of the card. Okay, I'm in San Francisco. So I'm going to stay on card for a while. And uh, when the weather breaks, I'm going back to finish up my my Gato class submarine, USS Drum, and the great, great, great late uh, Captain Raphael Sim, CSS Alabama, Commerce Raider of the Civil War. And uh, that'll be that. And jump on something else fr uh, fresh and new. Okay, guys, uh, that about does it for today. I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, upload. And while it's uploading, I'm going to go ahead and shove off to uh, the Home Depot and get me some wood for my display board for my USS San Francisco. And i got to get me some more number 11 blades, too. One thing about card kits, fellas, I've got to tell you. Believe it or not, with constant cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting all the time, these blades, they break. And uh, they last a long time. But eventually, after two or three, yeah, four hours, at least four hours, they'll start to break. And if you break at the tip, it's okay. When the first bust breaks the tip, it's okay. But that tip is very, very important. The very fine point of that number 11 blade, that's how you cut out your real small parts with a good precision. But what you do is you save that for that kind of parts and all worn blades I'll go ahead and use. So anyway, paper and constant cutting does eat these up, so... A precautionary note. Okay, boys, that's about doing. Oh yeah, incidentally, a lot of guys go, "Hey, Frank, what kind of glue you use for those things? Did you use Elmer's glue or, or, uh, or Tide Bond or something like that?" No. It says it's usable on card and paper, but one thing about Elmer's glue, fellas, it has a lot of water in it. You know what water does to paper. It draws in and shrivels, it loses its form. You don't use that. This is the glue you use right here. Elaine's Tacky Glue. It comes in three different forms. It comes real fast grab, which is a purple bottle. And this is the gold bottle. This one I use. Yeah, another one too is really, really fast drying. So right here, this is what I use. This stuff here is also good for crystal clear, fellas. On your plastic kits, like when this right there, especially like small portholes or even little sort of rectangular windows, real small ones. This is the same ingredients in the same form, excuse me, the same formula which is used on micro, micro scale clear, which you find in little small blue bottles. And um, so that's just another technical note too. Okay, guys, I'm out of here right now. I got to get to check out upload this. Shove off the lows, get me a baseboard for my USS San Francisco. And again, get some more of these blades I gotta get. And uh, go to the store and do a little shopping for my woman and myself. Come home, bingo! Do some publishing on the video and it's just ready for you guys to review. Me too. Okay, guys, this is Frankie Day signing off. I love every one of you guys. You guys take care, boys. And uh, this Monday we'll have another video of the USS San Francisco and uh, make mama happy, happy modeling. Please subscribe and be good. And we'll catch you guys next video. Bye boys.